Okay, I will show an experiment uh, that we was um, making. Uh, the name is a full duplex OFDM implementation with USRP boards. Uh, I'm Sergio Armas from Mexico. Uh, this presentation is composed of the following parts. First, uh, we need to see what is full duplex. We will see uh, that the main problem uh, when we are trying to use full duplex is the self-interference problem. Uh, there is a classification in three domains uh, if we want to apply cancellation. Uh, so far, we have we working with the propagation domain, and we are applying a cro uh, we are applying cross polarization. Uh, we will see different structural topologies that are proposed for full duplex implementation. Uh, we have the proposal that are implemented in, uh, in using Henurario and uh, the block diagram. We have some experiments set up and the results, some conclusion, and finally the references. As introduction, uh, the wider revolution that we are living right now demands more and more uh, from our limited spectrum. Uh, so if we want to solve this problem, we have two options. On the one side, we can try to increase the bandwidth is uh, the easy but expensive way. On the other hand, we can uh, apply techniques for make a better use of the spectrum. That is what full duplex proposes, make a better uh, use of the spectrum. What is full duplex? The current communication systems that we are using uh, are operating in half duplex mode or are full duplex but not in bad full duplex. This is, uh, we are using two different uh, frequency channels, uh, one for the uplink and the other one for the downlink. On the other side, we can use the same channel, but we need to be sharing the time uh, for the uplink and downlink. So if we can transmit and receive simultaneously over the same frequency, uh, we can has the potential to double, almost double the efficient, the spectral eff efficiency. Sorry. The main problem uh, for the implementation of full duplex is the self-interference. The self-interference is produced uh, by the radio that is transmitted on the same device. The distance uh, between the transmitter and receiver receiver is uh, so much shorter than the signal of interest. So the signal of interest will be hidden by the signal of interference. Self-interference cancellation methods have been divided into three uh, different kinds of mechanisms. Passive uh, uh, suppression in the propagation domain, isolating the transmitted signal on the same device, analog cancellation in the circuitry domain before the ADC, or we can apply digital cancellation, uh, the, the stages which is possible to perform processing in software, but it requ requires a good level of cancellation in the previous stage if we want to get a good uh, result. We are applying cross-polarization in the propagation domain, placing the transmitter antenna uh, vertical, and the receiver is uh, horizontal, uh, and we are getting a significant reduction of the cell interference, up to 42 dB of cancellation. Three basic topologies uh, are described for uh, uh, the full duplex scheme. We are emulating the base station uh, stage, where uh, we have two nodes that are uh, working as a half duplex. The first one is sending information to the base station in one time slot if we are working in half duplex. The next time, the base station will be send, sending the information to the other node that is working as a uh, half du uh, duplex too. If we can have a terminal 
working as a full duplex, we can send information from the first node to the base station. Then the base station can be sending the information to the other half duplex node at the same time using the same bandwidth. So that's uh, we are proposing and we have the experiment. The platform that we are using for the implementation has been the ERC software together with the USRP boards B210. The complete ensemble experiment is shown in this uh, block diagram. First, uh, the node one is uh, transmitting information. We are applying a Fourier transform with a 128 uh, bit bins. And we are sending the information to the full duplex. I need to say that the node one is uh, working as a half duplex. So uh, it's, saying, it's, it's sending the information to the node two that is working uh, with full duplex. It's receiving this information. It's applying the fast, uh, fast Fourier transform with 128 bins and is um, sending in the same time uh, another information to the node three. Now the information uh, is sending using 64 bins and the node three is uh, receiving the information and applying the Fourier transform with 64 uh, bins and getting again the information. Uh, we can see in, in those pictures, uh, first we have the transmitter that is, it was located in the place where I'm working uh, together with the, with the computer where, I'm, where I am uh, taking control uh, with the, taking the control of my computer and the other two computers. We can see there is uh, the full duplex station. We can see the, the antenna placement and on the other side, we have the other computer that is working in the half duplex mode. Mm, the antenna is uh, actually right there behind the door of the locker because we was trying to emulate the uh, behind node uh, problem. The transmitter is working as a half duplex, sending information to the uh, full duplex terminal and in the same time, full duplex terminal is sending information to the other half duplex terminal that is working as receiver. We can see uh, in this picture, the transmitter is uh, in the place where I'm now, I can say that, and the full duplex station is uh, right there, uh, receiving information from me and sending the information to the other side. We are uh, getting up to 42 dBs of cancellation, making this uh, antenna arrangement. Now I will show you a short video with the experiment uh, running in real time. Okay, the windows right there are, uh, I cannot. The windows are changing uh, fast because I was taking the control of the other uh, computers and I was trying to uh, send information and, uh, from one node to the other and the other to the third node at the same time. Uh, we can see the view in my computer and the real view in the computers that was uh, receiving and sending and the other that was only receiving the information. We were sending uh, a, a picture, we will see, and we are using uh, two points for the header and four points for the payload, as we can see. Right there, the transmitter are uh, finished. 
Now we need to take out uh, four uh, bytes that are uh, zeros because we are using a convolutional code in GRC. So we need to take out the zeros uh, if we want to get again the, the picture that we were sending. Now I'm taking out the zeros. I was sending the same file uh, because I was trying to get the same time uh, in the transmission one and the second transmission. There is the first uh, figure, and now I'm charging the second one. Both are perfect, so full duplex is working in, in this experiment. Now I only have some conclusions. It is possible to achieve a very good level of cancellation up uh, to 42 dBs uh, by making an orthogonal placement between the transmitter and receiving antennas uh, of the same full duplex node. Uh, it is possible too to avoid the synchronization between the transmitter antenna and the receiver that, I, that are in the same full duplex node. Uh, using Fourier transform with different sizes. The bandwidth is the same for, the, for both Fourier transform uh, and we are using the same frequency channel, for sure. And applying suppression in analog, analog and digital domain, the total level of cancellation should be much better. Uh, some references. And I don't have more. Okay, thank you very much. Do we have any questions for our speaker? So thank you very much, that's pretty impressive. Um, so how, how does the, numerically, the self-interference cancellation works uh, work? I saw that you're doing like different sizes of FFT, if I understood that correctly. Um, so, so how are these um, like orthogonal or, or how does that mathematically work out? Uh, okay. I'm measuring the, the 42 dBs, uh, comparing when I'm putting the, the two antennas, transmitter and receiver, like this, mm -hmm. uh, is the, the best scenario. I'm taking the, the, the value. So then I'm uh, changing the configuration and finding the best uh, arrangement where the cancellation is the best. So it was uh, 42 dBs of difference. And the other was? So um, I understood the part about like the polarization selectivity. Okay. Um, but I mean, that it sounds like 42 dB is much too high to just come from, from the antenna orientation, right? There, there has to be a numerical reason why the signals. Oh yeah, uh, because we are sending one uh, uh, horizont horizontal, yeah. and the other is vertical. Actually, the arrangement is not physical. No, uh, sometimes the the transmitter uh, can be like this, and the receiver is uh, like this, and there is the the best uh, arrangement. So That's we are trying to get the the patterns, the radiation patterns using the anechoic camber, but we have a problem right now in the institute, but we want to get the, the radiation fields and then explain with mathematics. Okay, you need sí. to explain the, that when it's using OFDM with different size of transform. Yeah, when we are using the different sizes, uh, we, are, uh, we can be sure that the terminal that doesn't need to get the information of the other, it will never synchronize the information, no? Because I'm sending information uh, from node one to the full duplex, 
and full duplex is sending information to the other half duplex node, but uh, are saying and sending the maybe the same information or different information, but is uh, one channel is using uh, 128 and the other is 64. So the we are uh, uh, getting a better result doing that, and the bandwidth is the same. We was uh, taking some. Uh, measure it with the analyzer, and we are sure of that. Did that answer your question, Marcus? Uh, yeah. Do we have any other questions? I mean, it works, it works. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Do we have any other questions from the audience? No? Let's thank our speaker. Thank you very thank much. You. And it